Good morning, my beautiful friends. Okay, ready? I've got half an eggplant. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this in my food processor, make my life easier. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. Here we go. There's my eggplant. I'm using half and I am going to put this straight into a pan. Here we go. That's half an eggplant and that was like a, wasn't small, it was like a medium sized eggplant. And we're going to put some olive oil to this. And we're going to start cooking this down. And we're going to get some portobello mushrooms. And we're going to get two portobello mushrooms. I save my stems. I don't mind the gills. If you don't want gills, guys, leave it out. But you want to cut these not super small, but you want to be able to have little bits of this going through your sausage. Okay, so we're going to cut this in half again this way. And then we're going to make smaller pieces. And we're going to throw this in with the eggplant. Now you don't want to have that on too high because it's going to stick to the pan. You want to have it on a, I would say, medium to lowish heat and just reduce the water add out of the, uh, the eggplant. Plus the eggplant water is a little bitter so you want to get that out of there. And mushrooms also have a lot of water so you want to remove the water from them. And what it does is it gives it a nice meaty, chewier texture. There you go. So I use two portobellos and half of eggplant. So I'm going to continue cooking this down. Okay. One, and I'm going to do a half of vital wheat gluten. If we need more, we will add more and I will make sure to mark it for you. Okay, we're going to add just a little bit of, here, let me just push this over. We're going to add just a little bit of maple to my oh I need this sorry I'm adding just a little bit of maple to this we're gonna add a little bit of salt we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper we go we're not going to add the garlic here we're going to add the garlic to the gluten and put this back on the burner One cup of my, these are large flake rolled oats, one cup. We're going to add some salt, about a teaspoon and a half. 
Okay, I just want to show you. That looks about right. And we're going to leave this aside to get nice and cold. Here we go. Let me continue with this. We're going to need some mushroom powder. One. Two mushroom powders. One heaping teaspoon of agar. get some sun-dried tomatoes okay we've got one two three four five six halves of sun-dried tomatoes and we're gonna cut those up now if you don't have sun-dried tomatoes I would say just simply leave it out or what you could do is maybe put a couple of maybe a tablespoon of um, tomato paste if you don't have the sun-dried tomato just so you get that little bit of tomato taste in your sausage here we go we're gonna put some garlic to this Okay, we've got about four cloves of garlic. Okay, so we're just going to push this back for now. We're going to grate half a beet or so. Okay, that's about it. And we're going to add it. to our vital wheat gluten. There we go. I'm just gonna quickly toss this so it doesn't stick all in one place. We're gonna add some chili to this. Remember this is all optional, right? The chili, you don't have to put the chili. We don't mind the heat. Got the cheese. There we go. All right, I am now going to add my mixture of mushroom and eggplant. And whatever oils in that pan, make sure you get as much as you can to add. There we go. I always add, you see? my olive oil on top. I always add olive oil on top of my pesto. What it does is it always keeps my pesto nice and fresh. So we're gonna go down and get, ready? One heaping, I'm gonna do two. There we go. 
two heaping tablespoons of pesto and this is the pesto I make which is really really easy to make guys if you want to make it all you have to do I'm sure that if anyhow I wanted to tell you that it's very easy to make pesto if you go to especially in the summer go to a garden center uh, you should be able to uh, get some pesto there some uh, basil plants there and just follow my recipe it's very simple it's not hard to make at all and I make enough to keep in my fridge or I make a lot anyhow let me get a glove and I'm gonna mix this up and pesto is just one of those things that you just need to have in the fridge it goes good on anything it really does okay so here we go let's take the rest off of this and we're gonna add of course milk not water Just want to make sure that everything is mixed even first. And these are going to be just superb. Okay, we're going to start off again with a third cup. So here's one third cup. And also, if you want, you could even let this dough sit a bit so that the oats pick up all the moisture and it just works better. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, but if you want to, you can do it that way. Let's flip it over. I'm going to get more than eight sausages, I think, this time around because I used, no, maybe still eight sausage. Yeah, I'm going to need more milk. I'm going to use, let me tell you, one, two, maybe two and a half tablespoons for now. Remember, always better to use less and work your way up and just dive in. And then you're going to have to start adding extra flour, which is not the end of the world. We might need two thirds. I use a third plus another third. This time we needed more milk than we did yesterday's sausage. Really, really good. Nice eggplant. Mushroom taste. I'm going to add just a little extra pesto. Just adds that extra flavor. Why not, right? And this is what's fun about making vegan food. You could really get creative. You eat what you put in. So I did use a whole... Oop. A whole small beet. There we go. Okay. Okay, like I said, if you're using a pressure cooker, doesn't really take long, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. What I do is I put it for 45 minutes and then I just let it sit there. If you're using a steamer, an hour minimum that means if you want to do even a little longer it could stay a little longer the only problem is with a steamer you got to check to make sure that that water didn't evaporate on you so do check for that um, so we're gonna wrap these up okay did I did I not tell you I wash my parchment paper and look you know how many times I'm gonna be able to reuse this for a long time rather than throwing it out just make the best out of it. Now, someone sent me a link. I'm sorry, my head's not always in the right place. Uh, on where to buy casein. Now, I don't remember if the one that I bought last time, the casein for sausages, if the one I bought last time was from the same place. But what a mess. It just 
Vital Wheat Gluten Expands. And those sausage casings, they will break on me. Now, I'm going to look into the one that you sent me, and I am going to check to see if maybe, um, if maybe these are different. I don't remember. It's been such a long time, and I paid a lot of money because they did come from out of town. They came from out of town, so I can't really remember where I got them, but I know I paid a lot of money for this casing. And then when I went to use it, it just didn't work out for me. But, you know what? Like my mother used to say, you're like San Tomas. So that means that until I do it again, to prove myself right or wrong, I'm going to try again. So here we go. We're making the sausages. Wrap, wrap, wrap. And aluminum paper. Squeeze in, turn, squeeze in, turn. There we go. These will be a little firmer than the ones that are made with the pineapple because the pineapple is a fruit. But just as good, if not better. So... Very simple to make, guys. Now, someone asked me if you can uh, put it in some banana. I think banana leaves. Someone asked if you can just pinch this with some q-tips well you're not going to get a perfect sausage shape but i guess if you're okay with not having that perfect shape then if it's okay for you it's okay for me right if you're doing for presentation you want to show people how beautiful your sausages are then i would say use the aluminum paper I'm gonna show you my sausage. Nope. I'm just gonna open one up. Now these aren't brown, they just came out of the, the pressure cooker. So uh, I like to cool these off before I do anything, but you can still cook them now if you want. Nope. I know someone asked me to show what the sausage looks like. So here's my sausage. It's still warm. You can tell the cheese is melting on the side. Notice the cheese. But I'm going to show you what it looks like when you cut it. Here we go. Beautiful texture. There is the sausage inside. And the taste, well, I don't have to tell you that. Mmm. These are heaven. Mmm-hmm. So, so good. It has a nice taste of the, oh, these are really good. It's got a nice taste of the eggplant and the mushroom. And notice how the sausage, that's a piece of sun-dried tomato. Very good. I can eat this all now. So, my ciabatta is getting ready. My sausage is done. I'm going to have to stop eating this. Because I'm going to stuff my face otherwise. I could still wash this another time and use it again. So this way I don't have to waste so much. So there you go. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to let my ciabatta cook. And then I'm going to roast some beautiful tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. We're going to roast them. And we're going to dress the sausages 
with cherry tomatoes inside that ciabatta and it's gonna be heaven on earth. So this is your new sausage and I'm gonna show you how I dress it a little later. So I'll see you in a bit. Here we go, I'm putting some cherry tomatoes in a cast iron pan, just salt and olive oil and this is gonna go right on top of this and we're gonna cook those for 20 minutes. Hopefully they'll be ready by the time the bread is ready. Okay, we're back guys. So, sausages are brown. Here they are. Beautiful. I'm doing them on the burner just to make my life easy to show you the video. Otherwise, again, like I said, you can put these outside on the grill. I roasted some cherry tomatoes. I made my flatbread. Here it is. And now to dress them, very simple. Here it is. On top, and there is our beautiful dog in some flat ciabatta type bread that I made fresh. It didn't take long and that's how simple it is to dress this this sausage. So I'm just gonna dress a few for my husband and then we're off to a new recipe that's gonna come up very soon. So for now here you go. Very easy and if you give it a try come back let me know how you like it and guess what guys I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.